Thank you so much for, for joining me on the footballgirl.com. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure being with you right now. Yeah, I'm really, I'm glad we can, I should tell everyone who's listening that I, we connected on Twitter because we have uh, the same last name. So that's, you know, always, always a good way to, to interview somebody. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I told you, it's, just, it's pretty sweet to have a last name like that. Sweet name. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? We should actually clarify, um, because I've been asked this question a lot. We're, we're not actually related that I know of. No, we're not. I don't think we are, unless some strange thing happened somewhere down the line. Which <laughs> could have yeah, I'm sure we, we have some similar ancestry or something, but yeah, it's not not <laughs> not directly related. Um, but Brandon, before um, we you know before we talk about anything NFL related, I would like um, to know about the probably more treacherous waters that I saw you enter recently on my my favorite reality show, Shark Tank. Can you just tell me what that experience was like? Oh, it was it was pretty fun, uh, actually. <clears throat> it was a little bit nerve wracking at first, uh, but once we got started and really, you know, facing uh, the, the sharks, I mean, it got it got interesting, and you know, and it uh, it became a challenge. But um, I mean, we got through it. We got what we asked for, and um, and probably gave up a little bit more than we wanted. But in the long run, we ended up getting what uh, what we needed, and, and that was some really some publicity. Yeah, yeah, and Damon John invested, right? Yes, he did. He did. He, he does a great job thus far, helping us and uh, and and uh, doing some things for us. And, and things and things have been, you know, so much better um, with the company uh, since since Damon got on board. That's awesome. It, it, I have to ask you because I know you're you're very tall. How how tall is Damon? Because he looks like he's about four foot eleven on television. Well, not, not Damon is about uh, you know, five two, five three, somewhere around okay. there. He, he's just, you know he's he's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean he seems like a very cool guy and obviously very successful. I'm yeah. just always. I think maybe it was standing up next to you or something, but. You know, you saw this. Yeah, I can make a lot of people look that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's um, you know, let, let's talk about football. Obviously, you know the news that you know, even as you said on Twitter, I think wasn't surprising that you were released a couple of days ago. Um, Brandon, what what were your what were your expectations when for the season when you uh, signed with the Forty ers Well, my expectations, you know, well, I didn't really have any expectations. I was willing to work and do what I had to do. They had expectations, and their they, they expectations were get me in there give, and, and, and give me a rock, let me run, and and let things happen. You know, I I got hurt, which which yeah. changed everything they say, which I don't see how that happened. But you know, I I came back healthy. I was good. I was good. I did what I had to do, um, and I just you know I just I got tired of uh, of saying be patient, be patient. I was patient through thirteen weeks and. I just wanted to get out of there, you know, and, um, you know, and, and I discussed, per, you know, before my, um, before my suspension, you know, uh, the general manager and myself, mm-hmm. we discussed, you know, I asked him, I said, when, when, is it, when this suspension is over, can you please be kind enough and release me? And that's what he did. And that's why I wasn't surprised because that, cause that, cause that's what we talked about. Yeah. What, um, what were they asking you to be patient for? I mean, did they... Was there ever like a promise that you were going to get X amount of carries at any point, or any expectations at that point? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I didn't think anything at that point. At that, or well, at that far in the season, I was just done already. I should. I, I hung in there for thirteen weeks, mm-hmm. and um, I think that was long enough to, to hang in there. And I, I just wanted to be back down here and 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 uh, be out of there. You know, I think. Uh, yeah. It was, a, it was. I had a great time there, you know. Great teammates, and uh, you know, Coach, Coach Rathman was was good. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the running back coach, we got along well, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, but you know, it, 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 I, I'm not going to regret going there because it's part of life. It's it's, it's a part of something, you know, to, to experience that that that's good for me and people around me. Uh, yeah. You know, I look, I, I look at it, you know, to be a, a lesson learned for, for myself and I want to learn for my kids when they get older, you know, they, they can uh, go, you know, they can go through this story and see, you know, that, that, you know a lot of things aren't easy. So, um, you know, you, you lie to things, you know, things may happen, but, you know, you got to fight through it and come out of it. 
Yeah. So, I mean, based on the tweets that I know, you know, I guess got you in, in trouble in the first place, if you will, I mean, would would your main issue, I guess, be with Harbaugh and how you were utilized in the offense then? I don't, I don't really have an issue with, uh, with, with Coach Harbaugh mm-hmm. at all. Um, you know, he is a coach. He do, he do what he do. He is a coach for the 49ers, and that's just as far as I, I, I go with him. You know, I don't really – Everything against him. Um, I don't really like him or dislike him. You know, he's just a guy to me, and uh, that's, that's just about it. Okay. Well, what what was when when they actually did suspend you versus release you? You know, meaning obviously you couldn't sign with another team. What? How did you react to that? Were you surprised? Well, you know, it was kind of a relief to be honest with you. Um, to be honest with you, I, I got a relief out of it because. Um, I felt fear, you know, I felt fear from them, you know. Uh, I kind of thought at first I was losing it, can I, can I still play this game, can I still do this, and I remember my fooling myself, you know, uh, I had those thoughts go, go through my mind at, at first, and, and when this whole thing came up of, you know, choosing, you know, we went through the whole thing of, uh, you know, they either had to release me or pay me, for so they actually gave me a paid suspension, and uh, playoffs and area and everything else that goes along with the playoffs, uh, just so I wouldn't be able to play for anyone else uh, mm-hmm. b- before the regular season w- was over. So I, I kind of felt a relief yeah. from that, given the fact of knowing that they, they just won't go hold me. They should just pay me not to play for nobody else, you know, type <laughs> thing. But yeah, you, 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 you know, but like I said, you know, I went through it, and uh, you know, it was, a, it was a lesson learned, and uh, you know, I, I wouldn't regret it because it, it only made me stronger. Yeah, so you're so you're paid during your suspended weeks. Oh, um, yo, no question about it. Cool. Okay. No question at all. Yeah, well, good for you. <laughs> do you think, had yeah. you been released, I guess, instead of suspended, do you think the Giants would have re-signed you, or had you heard about any other possible playoff contenders with, with interest? Um, no, I didn't really hear about too, about too much. You know, I knew I knew what was going on in New York before the whole thing happened. Um, yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't know what this stand was on me or whatever, but um, I, I was just. I was just trying to get out of there. You know, like I said, it, 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 a lot of teams want for people. I've seen people come to New York and, and absolutely hated it. You know, and mm-hmm. it's, it's 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 the same thing. You know, with uh, like all over the league. You know, it's just, it's just guys that just it's just not their flavor. You know, it's, it just doesn't taste right to them. Yeah, well, obvi- you know, obviously, as you say, it wasn't wasn't the best fit. Was was there was there anything positive about your experience in San Francisco? The weather, the weather was <laughs> good. Uh, we didn't have we, we we didn't see any snow. Uh, that was just about it. Okay. Did you did you like the city itself? I know Santa Clara is not exactly in San Francisco, but did you get to experience some of the culture, restaurants, or any of that? Yeah, they had this place. Uh, they had this place in San Francisco called House of Prime. It was great. It was a great place uh, to go. Uh, great, great prime rib. Uh, I had the best mashed potatoes I've ever eaten, probably. Um, I take them. I, I took, I've taken my kids to the aquarium in San Francisco. Um, I mean, we, you know, as far as the family thing, you know, we made sure we stayed strong and and did we had to do things, you know, did, did things like that. Um, so, uh, and then, you know, in, in, in San Jose, you know, we had a lot of good things. Uh, uh, Santana Road was a place we go to for restaurants and stuff like that. So that was good. Um, you know, I'm, I, I mean, I, I really, I'm really glad I, I had a chance to experience the whole thing. So, Cool. Well, Brandon, where do you think you're going to go, you know, from here professionally? Do you, do you think you'll get kind of quickly signed next season? And do you, is there any team in particular that you think may be a good fit for your style? Well, um, I don't know. You know, I really don't know. But I am going to research and, and, and ask more questions before I put my name on the battle lines. You know, I'm not going to just go somewhere because some, 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 some guy sat in a chair across the table for me and said I was going to get eight to 12 carries. You know, it's not going to go like that but that, that way next time. Yeah. So I'm going to do more more some research and, and figure out more about them and what they do and, 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 and what they like and so on and so forth versus just listening to some guy in a chair with a, a, a tie on and think he matters. So. so you would avoid a team with a crowded, already crowded backfield then? Uh, I, would, I would avoid a team with 
uh, wouldn't say a crowded backfield, but at least I want to go to a, to, a, to a place that that can utilize three three running backs. You know, so I want to go to a place where people know how to do that. I don't want to be. I don't want to necessarily get be selfish and get more than someone else. I just want to go to, go to where um, people, you know, three running backs can be utilized to the best of their ability. Yeah, would you be cool being kind of the you know third down guy slash goal line guy, or are you looking for more than that at this point? I mean, it's year nine for me. It's, it's year nine. My goal is to get to ten. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and the, and obviously I, I do want to win. You know, and that's all the thing. It's not about money. You know, um, to me, it's, it's just the whole. You know, I I just want to go and because I know I can still play and. Other people know I can still play, which is why I got suspended and not released. So, um, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking for a 30 carry game. I'm not looking for a 20 carry game. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be the guy with the most carries or something like that. But if my team needed me to step up big and and and, and, and take on a mass a mass uh, amount of carries for one game or two games, I definitely can do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, before I let you go, I mean, you were just talking about winning, and obviously, you've you've done that as you know, you were a big part of two Super Bowl teams that not only had the talent, but, you know, caught fire at the right time. Do you um, see a similar team in this year's playoffs? Um, I see, I see Seattle. I see, I see Seattle being that team. Yeah, Seattle's on fire. Them, them on Washington, I see, being, you know, uh, being that team. Uh, I think, you know, just the guys who, you know, who, Who's in the, the playoffs? I don't think none of the big dogs are really going to be the team to, to to come out of this thing. To be honest with you, because uh, like the Packers or the Patriots, you don't see a team like that. No, nah, I, I mean no. Uh, the I think Green Bay could they do it. I mean, if there's four teams that have the buy, mm-hmm. I don't think I, I don't think either one of them are going to come out of it uh, being, being, being you know you know being champions. I mean, they do if if it does happen, I, I see it being uh, being a uh, this worse to win it. Denver, but I rather I rather if a team like that is going to win Super Bowl, I rather be Atlanta because I'm down in this area and there's you know and there's people down here as uh, it's diehard Falcons fans and 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 you know I want to see I want to live in a good a good atmosphere. So you know if the Falcons win a good win a Super Bowl, my the atmosphere is definitely going to be great. But I I'm myself I'm pulling for the Green Bay Packers because I went to high school with uh, Jamal Williams and it would be good for him to get his second ring so we can say. You know, from this old school down here, we got we got four Super Bowl rings and a gold medal. You know, not which not not you know, not a lot of people have, have that. Well, that's true. So yeah, that's going to be my last question. So, if Green Bay plays San Francisco next week, you're rooting for Green Bay, is that right? Absolutely. And then- Absolutely. It is not because of my experience with San Francisco, just because I want Tremont, you know, to succeed and and and, and get a ring. Cool. Well, I appreciate you, you know, being the stand-up guy you are and, you know, being honest and, and all that. I really, really enjoyed talking to you and, and, you know, excited to see where your career's headed. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And I'm going to just call you my brother from here on out, even though we're not officially related, okay? That sounds good to me. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Brandon. All right.